why just checking in with your team, asking them how they're doing, while well-meaning and well-intentioned, is not the most effective way to find out how they're doing. I want to talk about just given the, the the situation around 2020 and COVID and remote workers and and leadership being exponentially more difficult to connect with uh, with folks on your team and all the social aspects of it and all of those kinds of things. Uh, I want to give you three elements that will allow you to connect with people a lot better even remotely or especially remotely and also um, you know, really have a better conversation around how people truly are doing, particularly around 2020 and COVID and things like that. Now, the the catalyst for this, this conversation comes from, I was doing a group coaching call a couple days ago uh, for my quick start uh, guide for crisis leadership. And um, we got onto the topic about leadership and, and one of our jobs is to create psychological safety amongst the team. And to constantly be checking in on people and, and looking after their their physical and, and emotional well-being. And so in the conversation, we, you know, we were talking about some different ta ta tactics and techniques and, and those sorts of things. And, and um, almost unanimously, almost unanimously, people were checking in very, very effectively and asking, hey, how are you doing? And, and it wasn't even about work stuff, right? It's about, hey, how are the kids? How, uh, how's working from home? How is this? How is that? Which is great, which is fantastic. I, I'm glad that we are doing that as leaders. But if we want to 10x how we connect with individuals, if we want to 10x truly um, being able to connect with individuals. There are three very simple changes that we can do to make that experience, that, that experience of reaching out to somebody and checking in on them, to make it even better and more meaningful and have a much richer, meaningful conversation. So the first element when you're reaching out to somebody is to not just ask them how they're doing. And so if we have any parents watching, and uh, I'd be curious, just leave in the comments, uh, um, yes, parent, parent. Um, I don't think I'm alone when I talk about, um, you know, hey, buddy, my son. Hey, buddy, uh, how was school today? Good. Awesome. Good, good talk. Good talk, buddy. I'm glad we really bonded over this. Uh, did you have a good day today? Yeah. Okay. Wow, we are, we're hitting home runs on the meaningful, deep conversation uh, level for sure. Well, one of the reasons that is, is because that is an example of what we call, so how are you or what, how, you know, what was your day like, or did you have a good day? Um, that is what we call a closed-ended question, which just means it can be answered with one word and it's typically an affirmative or negative, good or bad, yes, no. And so if we want to check in with somebody, the first thing is to do what we call an open-ended question, okay? So an open-ended question is one that doesn't have a simple binary yes or no answer to it. So now that combined with these two words, okay? So the second element, so first is this open-ended question, and the second is the word thoughts, and the third element is using the word feelings. Okay, so an open-ended question and using either the word thoughts or the word feelings. So let's take a look at that in action. So let's look at the contrast of, um, you know, how are you doing with, uh, with COVID? You know, the whole COVID thing. Uh, good, good, or, or fine, or uh, bad. Okay, that's fine. That's not going to lead to a rich conversation. So let's try it like this. Hey, Man, what are your feelings around around all of this this COVID stuff? So see the difference there? So if I'm using the word feelings or if I'm using the words thoughts, what that's doing is that is forcing them to think about it. it. It's a deeper conversation then. Because I really want to know as a leader how what do they think? What are they feeling? Because that's ultimately what we're doing when we're checking in on people, right? So we may as well learn to do it effectively. So an open-ended question. So what are your thoughts around? blah, 
what are your feelings around blah those elements are what you could be starting like today or tomorrow or on monday when you go back to your virtual work or your real face-to-face -face work and i promise you that if you do those very very simple things because as you know i'm all about critical path i'm all about minimal viable effort doing the making the most impact in the least amount of time with the least amount of effort so i promise you that that simple you know three elements the the open-ended question using the word thought or using the word feeling will get you much further along in terms of that that rich conversation I also want to take this opportunity to welcome a bunch of uh, folks into our Lead from the Inside Out uh, Facebook group. Uh, there's a link in the description of this particular uh, live. So if you're interested in joining the free group and continuing this conversation, feel free to, to click on that. You'll be uh, ask, or answering a couple questions. We'll approve you, bring you in, and, and, uh, and you can join the conversation. The second thing is I have a free download that is a guide, a very, very simple guide complete with templates and, and explanations around how to open any difficult conversation. Because as we know, one of the hardest parts about a difficult conversation is how do we open it up, right? And so we we have techniques, or I have, I have techniques and, and templates and, and uh, uh, tactics that will allow you to have a great difficult conversation in fact avoid the difficulty altogether because i talk about what's called the b method which is a behavior the the emotion and the effect in terms of an like an i message there are templates to work through there are worksheets to work through there are scenarios for you to work through and it's absolutely free so i'd encourage you to there's also a link in the description here to download that and you'll get it emailed to you automatically and life is good now lead from the inside out facebook group Feel free to ask uh, any questions or, or comment on this video or on this post, and I'll be hopping in over the next few days to, to address that. But for the new members for from Lead from the Inside Out Facebook group, welcome and uh, enjoy the, the conversation.